Hello and welcome to Blueberry. I'm Mike Dell and I'm going to show you how to publish, set up and publish your podcast from Blueberry instead of PowerPress. If you're doing PowerPress, stop this video and go look at the other one for setting up PowerPress because you do not want to do this and that, one or the other. Pick one. Anyway, we're going to assume you've already signed up for hosting down here under Explore Your Options, and you've got your show basically named and, and ready to go, and you're going to log into Blueberry here to the podcaster dashboard. And a lot of this might already be done for you, depending on what onboarding you came in on, but let's go ahead and show all the settings uh, just to make sure that uh, you have everything set the way you want it before you submit it to all the directories. So first thing you want to do is go pull down here where it says show, and we're going to go to manage. And under manage show, you're going to see what your feed is going to be. It's not active yet. You're going to see what your directory listing is going to be. It's also not active yet because you don't have a podcast yet. And if you don't have a podcast, you can't have a podcast feed, and you can't have a landing page or a directory listing. First thing First requirement to be in a podcast directory is to have a podcast. So let's get set up, get the feed set up, and then I'll show you how to publish your first episode. First thing we're going to do is go to settings here on these tabs across the top, and we're going to upload your image. So your image must be square, and it must be at least 1,400 by 1,400 pixels, up to 3,000 but you want to make sure it's under 500 kilobytes or one half of one megabyte in size. They're very picky about this image. It has to be exactly square and it has to be above 1400 pixels. So scroll down to the bottom and hit save changes. We're going to stay on this page. After the say it, cha yeah, changes were saved. There we go. Cover art uploaded successfully. And that's my little five minutes of uh, Photoshop there. Of course, up here is the title. If you ever want to change the title, that's right here. So you just uh, go to Show and Manage and then Settings. And there's your title, your show. You can change that at any time you want to for any reason you want to. <laughs> okay? So don't, don't, don't overthink that. You can change that any time you want to. All right. Also, you want to have uh, your name here. Uh, or not your name. You want to have your... <laughs> Your summary. I don't know why it. Uh, I don't know why it put my name in there for the summary, but this is the summary I wanted in there. The best in underwater basket weaving, and you can also put a little bit longer one here if you want to, uh, or you could put the same thing in. Doesn't matter, but you should have something in both things. Author. There's where your name goes. So that author tag must be a name. It could be your company name as long as it's not the same name as your podcast. Or it needs to be a name. It cannot be a description. It cannot be a title. It cannot be anything other than a name or names. So if it's two people, like in my case, if I had two people here, it would be Mike Dell and whoever else. All right. Uh, let's see, email. This must be an email you check, and it is very important that you put an email in here. You won't get spammed generally because of this email, so make sure it's one you actually check. I get paid to check this one, so mike at blueberry.com. And the language is English. The category for Blueberry, this is Blueberry's directory. In my case, is education. These categories are pretty broad. And it'll be set to not set when you get in here. Either set it to clean or not. Uh, clean means not too many curse words and not too deep of subjects that aren't for kids. Don't overthink this. Uh, setting it to yes, as long as you know if you're dropping a lot of F-bombs, set it to yes. It doesn't really hurt you. Uh, Apple categories, you really only need the one category. I picked education how to, but I've got a second category, education. I didn't even bother picking a third one, but you, you can pick three if you want. The, only the first one is the important one. Important one. There we go. Save it changes. All right, so then you're ready to publish an episode. So let's go to... Uh, 
where is it? Go back to the dashboard. Hit dashboard. And there's create new episode. So hit create. And let's see if I got a title in here. We're going to call this Weaving Your First Basket, I believe. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So that's the uh, title of my first episode. These episode titles, you can be as descriptive as you want to. You can put whatever you want to in them. Uh, Apple doesn't care. Nobody else cares. And this is pretty good for SEO because this is searched by the search uh, engines and by the uh, directories themselves. And we're going to call this, uh, we'll put a little description in here. You should really put your show notes. You should really put at least a couple of sentences, but you could put pretty elaborate show notes in there if you want. Uh, there's some advanced options here if you want. You can have a special app, uh, special title for Apple. You can put a special description, you know, all this stuff, but it's totally optional. You can just go with that. Okay, and let's do upload episode file. So you click that, and our uploader pops up. Now, if you want to, you can drag and drop it. Or, if you want to, you can go select it. And it's going to upload. Now, this is pretty quick, but it, uh, it uploaded it. There's the file name. Episode date, you can, if you just uh, publish now, it'll just be whenever you hit publish. Otherwise, you can change the release date to ahead or behind. You know, if you want to backdate it, you can. If you want to forward date it, you can, you know, schedule it. But otherwise, if you're happy with all of this, you hit publish. And ta-da, it takes you to the player page. And in this section here, you see what the player looks like. There's the frame, you know, iframe code. If you want to embed that into another website, you can. This does not, however, work on social. Uh there's the player. You can test it out if you want. Uh, there is a place to customize the player. I'll show you that in a minute. You can share it on Headliner. You can uh, share it via Audio Burst, get a transcript, whatever you want. There, you can share it on these social networks here. And, you know, if you want a direct link to it, you just uh, copy that. That's what I usually share to all these networks is I share the direct link. Okay. And that's really it. You have a, a podcast, and now you have an active feed. And I'll show you that feed in a minute. But let me uh, go back to the show here. And I want to show under Manage, you'll see Player. And in here, you can, you know, notice the image didn't show up. But you can select all the images you want. You can make it dark, whatever, whatever. Save it. And that's what the player embed will look like if uh, if you want to. Otherwise... Let's see. Go back to show, manage, and this is this is your RSS feed you're going to give to all the directories. And there's what it kind of looks like uh, in Chrome. Now, if you're in Safari, this won't work. Safari does not will not show an RSS feed. They'll just complain that you don't have an RSS reader. It's annoying. Uh, here's your uh, directory listing or my directory listing. Whoops. Well, it should be there, but uh, normally it'll show the episode. Oh, there it is. Duh. It's there. And there's the you know, player that pops up, and you can play it if you want to. And all of that good stuff. But that's really all there is to it. Uh, to submit it to the directories, you can go to, let's go to Dashboard. Uh, where is it? This is all new to me, too, so... Go to show again and destinations. There we go. And you can click submit your podcast to Apple. And when you get your Apple link, you put that link in there. That populates all the links in your listing. Google, nothing's really necessary. So don't worry about that. Spotify, Amazon, and so on. You have a whole bunch of them you can submit to here. And that's really about it. Any questions, you can give us a holler. It's blueberry.com slash support. And this was a quick and dirty video on how to operate the new Blueberry Dashboard.